Yeah, it was a practice today, Coach. It's about like yesterday. Just getting, I guess, ramped up. Well, it's starting to ramp down. I mean, we've been in pads now for a couple of days, so we're going shells tomorrow and then scrimmage on Saturday morning. So, starting to get a lot of people beat up. Take one, be the backup Saturday, do you think, or second unit? I don't know. It's still <laughs> to be determined. Are there are any injuries that are significant that you expect to keep people out for the? Possibly. Time? We might have one uh, that, when I say significant, maybe have a chance to miss the first game, but that's that would be it. Yeah, we'll let you know sure and soon enough. <laughs> In terms of, uh, I guess that's when where we find out for sure if he's going to miss the first game, then we'll let you know. You know, I, I don't know right now. And if I told you he was going to miss the first game and then he played, so it's iffy. It's kind of up in the air. I guess that's where it's good being at 80-ish in terms of you have some depth that you can play with a little bit when guys get danged. Well, we've got, you know, you have 105 in camp. So you know, you got 105 bodies, and when one gets hurt, you can replace them with another guy. So you constantly stay at 105. How have you felt about that? If, if the guy's going to be hurt and miss the rest of camp. How do you feel about the offensive line performance so far? It's been spotty. It's been like everything. They have their moments. And, it, you know, it's uh, right now nobody's consistent. Yesterday the defense had a good day. And today if you look at the tape, we, you know, the offense had a good day. So it's like nothing's consistent. Rod Chungong was one of the steady guys you didn't hear much about, but he was always there last mm -hmm. year. Antonio's trying to step in there. How is he progressing? To well, Antonio's played a lot. Uh, so hopefully his best, you know, he's going to play well his senior year and have his best year. I know he's got some goals he set for himself. And, uh, he's working hard. I'll say this for him. He's worked hard in the season, working hard now. Jahaziel, uh, going back to spring, he didn't have the kind of spring I think he wanted. How has he shown? He's been like the rest. He's been hit and miss a little bit. I might, I, I get. I, Pardon me, it's a silly question, but it's, I'm getting the sense you're not seeing what you want to out of really anybody at this point. Is that? Okay. I, you know, I don't know about that. I don't know if you ever see what you want to. Right. I mean, I'm going to hold them up to a standard this year. I'm not going to lower my standard and come in here and hold hands and sing Kumbaya every day. I mean, right. shit, we got to get better. You know, and that's the challenge to those guys. But are they practicing like you would? I think, I think some guys would. are. Some guys need to turn it up a notch. Yeah. You know, but that's our job as coaches to to let them know what's acceptable and what's not acceptable, and 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 you go from there. And right now is the time where a game is three weeks away and it's hot and you've been in pads for three or four days, and now's the time where you really got to push through. You know, you get close to game week, it's easy. Right. Uh, everybody gets excited when they can see the game coming or or whatever, but we've got to get get there. Is this where you'd like to see some your senior leaders step up and kind of get guys fired I, up? I just think it's the nature of camp, you, you, you know. But I would be doing them a disservice if I came in here and just talked about how great it was and how hard everybody's playing and everything's great and the offense looks like a machine and uh, nobody can make a first down on the defense. <laughs> and, you know, our kickers are great. and Yeah, I mean, that's... Is there anything in particular that's like a position group that's performed maybe better than others in, in camp? Right there's days and, you know, there's not the consistency. But again, you know, you've been three days in past, so there's a lot of practice left between now and Tennessee. When you talk about consistency, one of the positions maybe is the guys in the, that are backing up the offensive line that are trying to get in the rotation. They got a lot of reps today. They got a lot. So. Coach, I'm from Chattanooga. Is there any direct preparation yet for UT or is that still a ways away? That's still a ways away. How is Brant Mitchell doing so far? He's doing well. Yeah. Brant's a good player. He's been a leader on the team for for a while. He's a guy who works hard. You don't have to worry about his work at him. He's going to give you what he's got. Are you seeing anyone kind of separate themselves at that weak side linebacker spot? Well, Victor Alexander's been the guy with starting units since the spring. I would imagine that on the depth, that's where, where it'll be, yeah. With Brand, who grew up in Knoxville and, you know, was offered by Tennessee, is it kind of unusual to pull someone out of his 
Tennessee? Uh, probably from the state of Tennessee to pull them out of Tennessee, yeah, a little bit. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, I believe Brant's mechanical engineer, and I think he, he saw that and he wanted it and it made sense to him. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're glad he came here. What about Nathan? Uh, you know, actually, Nathan, we, we saw in our camp, he, right. he came to our camp and ran a blistering time. And then when we watched the tape, he was really productive in high school. And mm -hmm. So he committed fairly early. And then I think his senior year, he might have rushed for over 2,000 yards. Both Mike and Andy had a lot of connections up in Tennessee. That seems to have helped with you being able to get guys out of that state. Yeah, well, you know, Andy's got the Nashville area, and Mike recruited the Knoxville area. Mike's got East Tennessee, and Andy's got Nashville and West Tennessee. And we have another coach in Chattanooga, our guy that has North Georgia. What kind of player can Jazz be? When he's, he's a smaller, quicker guy, I guess, is that Desmond Brown? Uh, I, well, I think he's, he can be a good player. I mean, we're, we got high hopes for him. That's, you know, while we moved him in there, I think he's trimmed down and worked hard, and hopefully he'll have a, have a big year, too. One more for Coach. 